Right, January the 5th, um, I'm starting a video blog. Some of you will know, and some of you, you know, most of you won't know, but um, I've been diagnosed with lymphoma cancer. Um, not, not great news for me and the family, but one of those things. Um, I had a lump which was diagnosed as a hernia back in May, uh, but undergoing several tests, operations and different bits and bobs. It's, uh, it was misdiagnosed and uh, it is in fact lymphoma cancer. Um, tomorrow's the 6th of January, start chemotherapy tomorrow. Um, so I'm in for a tough couple of months, you know, not just me, but the, the people around me as well. But, you know, it is what it is, as they say. And uh, me having the the type of personality that I've gone, the type of, you know, mental capacity, I'll uh, I'll give this a hundred percent, and we'll see where we go. We see how the cards fall, but I'm confident. I've got a fantastic team of doctors around me. Got a really good relationship already with the people in charge of the treatment, and you know, um, hopefully we've caught it early enough. It's stage one. You know, you never know with these things, but um, I might be an old man, but I've been pretty fit and strong physically for for somebody my age, and uh, I'm pretty confident that. You know, by the time these video blogs ends, which will be around about May, it'll be with uh, a positive finish. But I'll do these blogs now every week, just let you know the treatment's going, how I'm feeling. Um, I'm just giving insight on to on how people deal with these things. And he has a look, and this is how it was delivered. He turns around and says, oh, it looks like you've got lymphoma cancer. Oh, great. And just delivered like that. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will. When the road to the thought I was going to die. When the funds are low, but the debts are high. Exactly, I thought the baby was coming. But you have to sign. When Could be worse, as we always say. Bonds and upwards. Rest if you must, but don't you quit. Right, January the 6th. Um, just got back from the hospital. Uh, been on a drip for six and a half hours. Having the chemotherapy. The next one won't be so long. They obviously um, put it over a longer course of time. Um, for the first one, just in case uh, there's any side effects. They've given me enough tablets to take over the next three weeks before the next dose. It'll make me rattle every day. Um, people say what they want about the NHS. i got to be honest, the staff down there were absolutely lovely, made me feel at ease, relaxed, answered all my questions, could, couldn't, couldn't answer any more, so over the moment there. Um, feel exhausted. They said that's a side effect. And we see how the next couple of days go um, with how I'm feeling after the first bout. But long, boring process, if I'm honest, but uh, not not too bad. Uh, January 7th, day after first session of chemo. Horrific. Um, being sick all, all night, bad headaches, level off a little bit today, so... Not a great day after after chemo. Right, Wednesday the 11th. Um, last night, first night I've slept since I'm in the chemo. I've been average about two, three hours a night. Actually slept last night. I think that's because the, the steroids have stopped. So here I am. I've been on the Macmillan site. And I'm encouraged to do some aerobic exercise. Sauna's a good for you, so I'm down in the gym while it's locked. So I'm in contact with nobody at the moment because I'm in my vulnerable period, as they've told me. And uh, I'll see how this goes. Right, Sunday the 29th. Um, so it's two days since my second chemo, which I had on Friday. Um, a lot quicker process than the first one went in. I was only in there for about an hour and three quarters. Found... I wanted a bit more intense because it was it was constant on a drip, constantly putting um, syringes into the drip, filling me up with stuff. Also, I'd have a um, injection in the stomach this time, which uh, which wasn't very pleasant. So I come from there within a couple of hours, really rough. Uh, best way to explain it is like having a really severe hang over your head's pounding. You just feel ill. You feel sick. Managed to sleep well, which is a bonus compared to last after the last session. So I slept about six hours um, on the day on Friday. Felt terrible all day. I said, woke, woke up about half six. I was sick quite a few times in the morning. Um, the sickness tablets they gave me leveled me off. But again, then I'm back on the 
26 tablets a day, so 20 of those are steroids. Um, fell asleep Saturday night, slept till four, was awake from four till about half six. Did drop back off. After half six, I managed to ride it up, and uh, I've got up this morning again. Feel like a severe angle is the only way to explain it. Still, still no hair loss. Um, just a couple of tough days now. If there's any, if last time's anything to go by, it'll be really tough five days. Then I'll try and get myself down that gym while it's closed and uh, just get moving and get my body activated again. But um, could be worse, as we always say, onwards and upwards. Right, this is my uh, my blog. Just eating. This is what I'm currently taking every morning. <laughs> Twenty steroid tablets, two tablets for something other. One to be taken with steroids, one for your stomach. And that's what I have to take. I rattle every morning. <sighs> right, Tuesday the thirty first of January. Um, I've come back this time a day earlier, so it is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Day four after the chemo, I thought I'd come and um, try and push myself because I was in a, a bit of a wreck really up the house. Not feeling good, feeling sorry for myself. Managed to get an hour done. Um, like I said in previous videos, not pushing myself to the limit uh, like I was before starting treatment, but giving it a good go. But did struggle today, felt tired, breathing pattern all over the shop. Um, spent more time walking on the, the run than actually jogging. But I managed to get a sweat on. My scalp is on fire, um, which is a symptom. I think that's the pre prerequisite before um, a body loss. But sleep's been all right since chemo, not too bad. Apart from last night, a really bad night last night. Only only done about three hours last night, but I've averaged, averaged six, seven hours to be fair the nights before. Um, felt like I had a massive hangover for four days. Hopefully, nice hour down here. I was uh, leveled my system off a bit, put a bit of a shock back into me. And uh, fingers crossed, I feel a bit better again tomorrow. Check in now at the end of the week. Staying positive, could be worse. Tuesday the 7th. Um, went to the Valindra yesterday, met with the doctors as soon as we do the radiotherapy. Um, all in shock, no hair loss, no weight loss, no loss of appetite. Um, it was a good, good consultation, sat down, went through all the scans. Um, which was brilliant, uh, giving a really good explanation on what to expect out for the radiotherapy. Uh, so I got, I've had a rough couple of days since the last um, chemo session, sleep not been great, but um, I've popped down the gym today now. I'm going to push myself to do about 40 minutes of, uh, of cardio, uh, but I've got last chemo session now a week Friday, which is February the 17th. That's the one I really want to get out, out of the way. Radiotherapy isn't so daunting, there's an impact on you as bad, but the uh, Start the radiotherapy 22nd of March. I'll be 15 consecutive days, or 15 consecutive working days, they don't do Saturdays and Sundays. And then I have to wait between six to 12 weeks. They'll do another PET scan, and uh, we'll know where we are. Fingers crossed, I'm feeling okay. Um, positive mindset, and we'll hopefully have some good news towards the end of May, I'm hoping. Um, could be worse. Right, Friday the 11th of uh, February. Best sleep I've had since the last chemotherapy session. So, um, over seven hours last night, I'm broken, which is unheard of for me when I'm well. Um, so, it felt good. Come down here, uh, put out Jack through the circuit because only me and him in the gym. I'll show you what I've done then. I've tried to do the fight the circuit, which have nearly killed me. So, rounds on the bags, box jumps as you can see there. Uh, See in that back on that blue up over bar, uh, down and pound bag by here, and then obviously the hurdles over there, which you bounce over, squat over. So, fighters do five fives. I've done five fours, and I'm nearly had a heart attack. I'm completely out of shape since uh, starting this nonsense, but got through it, sweating like mad, need a new lung, but I feel much better for it now. Um, so I got next week busy week. I got Bloods Monday. Uh, scan ready for the radiotherapy Tuesday. Doctor's consultation Wednesday and back in for chemo on Friday. That's my alarm going. Uh, last chemo session. Then I get a month off and then I, I start intense radiotherapy. Um, still 
we well, can't see a lot because I'm, I'm bored, but no hair loss, you can see from my eyebrows, my arms. Uh, met with the doc last week, she still can't know if I haven't lost no hair, because the type of chemo I'm having is, um, is prone for people losing their hair, but you know, as they say, I'm a bit of a freak. But as I say on every video, it could be worse, and I'll check back in uh, end of next week. Right, Sunday 12th of Feb. Uh, one, well, we've got five days till I go back for chemo. Own a gym on my own again. Um, not feeling the best today. Done 40 minutes of cardio. Gonna have a sauna now. Uh, had a nice day yesterday. About to become a grandfather. So some really positive news and a really bad time at the moment. I'm really pleased with Jack and Katie. Love them. And it's gonna be a little boy. But uh, yeah, I've had a good few days. Last few days I've slept well. Felt pretty good. A bit rough today, um, and I might be doing. I did have a couple of bottles of beer with uh, Di Davis up the house to celebrate becoming grandparents. And I'm not uh, prone to drink when I'm well alone when I'm in chemo. Um, but yeah, should sure have a good few days now. Make the most of it. Train every day, Monday to Thursday. Back in Friday. Fingers crossed that will be my last one um, for chemo. And uh, hopefully the radiotherapy and we'll finish the job. But not looking forward to next Friday. Anxiety starts picking up a bit a week before, but it is what it is. Um, could be worse. I will check in with you on Thursday now before the chemo. Right. It's uh, Wednesday, February 15th. Just done an hour circuit training. I mean, a little bit of time in the old sauna, which is allegedly good for you. Um, my doctor just rung me. Uh, bloods that I had done. Yes, they all good. Um, ECG is fine. Uh, back in from my last chemotherapy Friday. Then four weeks off, and then onto the old uh, radiotherapy. Doctor said, looking at my blood, she's very, very confident of a full recovery. So here I am in the sauna. What is it? 100 degrees. Don't know if you can see that up there. Fighting cancer every day. Never give up. Could be worse. All right, Feb 17th. Last one. Right, 19th of Feb, um, Sunday. And my last chemotherapy session, Friday. Yesterday is the worst day I've had since starting treatment. Honestly thought I was gonna die. Um, didn't sleep at all Friday night. And I get up at one o'clock in the morning because I just can't sleep because the, the medication they put you on is to is to buzz you up a little bit. And they said, oh, you'll have a buzz. Oh, I had a buzz, all right. Off my nut. <laughs> and then like, I've led on a settee because I'm trying not to disturb his mother because I'm restless. I'm watching telly. And all through, through the night, the dog, I got a little shit to in it, is running up to me and jumping up on the settee. And every time I'm going to grab him, he's run off. So his mum gets up in the morning <laughs> and says, about half six, she goes, Time you get up. I said, oh, I've been here all night. I said, I haven't been able to sleep. The dog have got on my nerves. I said, All night he played me up. I haven't had a wink of sleep. He's jumping up on the set. Every time I go grab me, she goes, Dog's over Alice's house. <laughs> <laughs> so I was hallucinating. Really? Yeah. I was dreaming, as real as you played a sat there, the dog was in that living room with me. Really bad sickness. Yesterday, all day, lack of sleep, no energy. Um, worst I've ever, ever felt, if I'm honest. Completely poisoned my system with the feel of it. Um, slept alright last night, though woke up today, feel a bit better, still not 100%, but um, fingers crossed, that's the last, the last I've got to have a chemo, I've got a four week break now, then I start my radiotherapy, if I'm honest, I pray to God that, uh, not I'm religious, but I'm going to pray anyway, but that is the last of the chemo, because I, I don't know if I can go back through that again, it's that bad, um, if I got to, I got to, obviously, but um Fingers crossed for the for the wife's sake and the kids' sake more than myself because they are stressing more than me. But uh, just want to touch on a family being great. Obviously, been really upsetting. Um, Lisa been brilliant. Jack and Alice been brilliant. All all rallied around. So have all my friends to be fair. Boys from the gym, personal friends. Can't thank you all enough for the support and help you've given me. But uh, yeah, like I said, not great. I'm in for a couple more tough days. Started the, the steroid cycle again, so my mind's a little bit overactive. Um, fingers crossed by Wednesday, I'll level off. I'll hopefully get a gym session in. And my aim 
it's uh, within another fortnight now I'll be able to do a little bit of teaching again because uh, I don't have to worry about being in crowds about picking up viruses for the for the chemo sessions. So fingers crossed, won't be too bad next few days. Fingers crossed, radiotherapy in four weeks um, kicks in. It's a week after Jack's fight, which is brilliant. So it gives me a chance to go up to London and uh, enjoy that that week with him. Um, then I got fifteen days in a row of the of the radiotherapy. I'll go back six weeks after that and uh, I'm really hopeful. I'm, I'm trying to stay positive that I get the, the thumbs up and I'm in remission. But uh, we still got a fair way to go but like I said this one has been the worst to date. I'll check in at the end of the next week end of next week now just so that you all know how I'm feeling. Right Tuesday the 21st, I'm down the gym, um, been a horrific few days, Saturday I thought the Grim Reaper was coming, worst day so far, but then unbelievably Sunday and Monday levelled right off, push myself to come down here today, didn't feel like it, we all sweat on, do feel more deflated than I have on the previous first training sessions back, but you know, that's the last chemotherapy session so I've got a fair bit of poison in my body. But I feel better already from the sweat on. You know, you know, 45 minutes. I'm going to jump in the sauna now for 10 minutes. And uh, fingers crossed to wake up in the morning. Feeling a lot better. So, last day of steroids today. Um, five days of injections. Saturday then. That's all my medication then. Fingers crossed. We'll, uh, we'll have a much more positive start. But uh, as I say every time, could be worse. I'll check in on Saturday now. Okay, Sunday the 26th of February. Um, so I had chemotherapy week last Friday. We're on the Sunday, so day nine. Um, yesterday finished my medication up, last injection. Um, what I did have yesterday is what I've had on the same Saturday after every chemo session is excruciating back pain. And one of... When I've googled it, I've had a look, and um, it, it is a it is a side effect of chemotherapy, lower back pain. But yesterday was the worst one I've had. I had a job to walk, madness. Went to bed last night, slept all right. Woke up this morning, and uh, slightly twinging, but nothing major. But yeah, yesterday was a really tough day. Bad pain all day. But um, considering nine days out, I don't feel too bad. Uh, feel reasonably well within myself. Slept well. For the majority of the week so i've got a nice break now um three weeks and then the 22nd march start the radiotherapy but all in all good still no hair loss no weight loss i want to know that steroids are finished that uh, i'll level off a little bit weight will come back to, to normality as i put a little bit on doing too many too much weights taking too many steroid tablets um as part of the chemotherapy treatment but uh yeah like i said bad day yesterday back pain um but in general i'm feeling feeling really good so it's all positives on my end and fingers crossed now we we'll get the radiotherapy done in three weeks time three weeks of alpha me another month off and then uh, we'll find out where we are right tuesday 28th of february um Finished all my medication and steroids on Saturday. I've had a good few days, slept well. Um, bit of a sore throat on me, nothing major. I just think that's when my immune system's run down. Um, cramp has been a big thing in the last few days. Cramping in my feet, in my fingers, in my hands, my jaw. I talk a lot, but uh, I've been cramping up in the jaw. Lisa's happy because it means I'm a bit more quiet. But, uh, a nice little message today. My buddy Wes Fisher was working up country and saw my favourite actor Stephen Graham. Um, been in multiple British award winning dramas and This Is England series and I can go on and on, Little Boy Blue. And uh, I'll put that in the blog a bit later on, but he sent a good luck message for Jack who's fighting two weeks Saturday at UFC and a good luck message for myself. So just going through that repair period now, fingers crossed, I continue to stay feeling as I am because it, it's not the end of the world how I feel at the moment um, I'd have grabbed this with both hands if you'd have told me this 10 days ago um, 
And it's just writing it out now. Uh, got back to a bit of normality. Went and talked in the gym yesterday for the first time. Also, we got trying to get back in a routine. I got up at quarter past five this morning. Took the Tuesday morning 6 a.m. class. Feel a lot better. I'm struggling a little bit now. My energy level's still down, tired a lot. But like I said, not, not, nothing major. Still, not to see off my hair, but still no weight loss. Um, oh, wait, <laughs> wait. So the steroids have, uh, have, have, have turned me into a monster. I weighed yesterday. When I started chemotherapy, it was 86 kilogram. I'm now 92. First cancer victim, uh, or cancer patient, I'm not a victim yet. First cancer patient uh, that the doctor at the Valindra has ever seen <laughs> put on weight during chemotherapy, but uh, I'll take that. Um, started my diet again yesterday, not to finish the steroids. I've got no more steroids coming to me, not that I'm aware of anyway. And uh, fingers crossed, I'll bring myself back to my normal weight of around 85 kilogram. So all in all, not too bad. And as I say, everyone, it could be worse. I'll check in within a week. Like I said, look at nothing now. I just rest period now. Rest the body up from the, the, the effects of the chemo. And then I have my radiotherapy starting on March 22nd, which is brilliant timing. Jack's fighting in the UFC on March 18th, so I can go up there, enjoy the the week with him. Um, quite intense and I think it's 15 days continuous of radiotherapy. Four weeks off, no, six weeks off, and then PET scan, and it'll leave a beer or I'm positive it's going to be a um, key thing I would say for anybody that's been diagnosed with cancer is to keep going. You've got to keep training, keep active. The doctor told me um, that a lot of people, they become ill off the chemo. They can't motivate themselves to, to go back to the gym, do training. So they end up having like a three to six months, whatever the, the treatment is over, of doing nothing. If the body deteriorates, then the mind follows suit, and then obviously the, the the cancer can attack the body much easier when it's not in a healthy state. So this non-Hodgkinson's lymphoma cancer, they've got 92 kilogram of me to deal with at the moment, and I'm confident that the 92 kilogram me, uber me, will succumb it. Even as I start this diet now, it's half eaten, um, plenty of food, healthy options, or just bring that weight back down to a manageable level. Should all start dropping off naturally now I'm back in the gym. But uh, as I said, could be worse and I'll check in in a week's time. Morning all. Saturday 4th of uh, March. Two weeks since my last chemo. Uh, come down today. I didn't see the gym's empty again. Um, 25 minutes on the runner. Interval training. So that's 30 second walk, 30 second jog, 30 second run. Um, 25 on that, then I've done 10 minutes on the spark machine, interval training, 30 second jog, 30 second sprint, and I'm on the the bike now, we've just done a five minute warm down, and then five minutes of 30 seconds fast, 30 seconds slow, and I feel all right. Um, off, this, off the corner this afternoon in Neath, Scott Pedersen and Owen Williams, so that's giving me something to focus on all week. Got the old sweatsuit on, and I'm trying to burn a little bit of excess <laughs> meat and put on has been on the steroids so way on Monday now hopefully I've come down from 92 um, but all in all I had a good week uh, got next week now last week I prepped for Tank for his USC bout then I go up there for the week with London and the following week we're back on it with um, with the radiotherapy but we're winning and as I say in every every interview that uh, I've done on these blogs it could be worse keep fighting Keep your spirits up and never give up. It's all we can do. I'll speak to you in a week. Right, morning. Thursday night of, uh, of March. I've had a tough few days. Uh, came down with like flu symptoms on, on Sunday night. Really rough Monday. I leveled off a little bit. Still had it Tuesday, Wednesday. So I've done no training since Saturday. Um, but come back down to the gym today, as you can see, you've got a proper sweat on. Sat in the sauna for half hour, try and finish the last bit of a cold off. Um, but, you know, recovered all right, because they did warn that they would come down with that flu on the back end of chemo, and end up in hospital. But, uh, so, my son and the kids were a bit stressed, but uh, I had faith. Um, got through it, a bit tired today, as you can see from my eyes, look a bit puffed out. But yeah, just had a good, good bit of weight training. 
uh, what did you go for? 20, 10, 20, 30 minutes cardio, bit of weights, 25 minutes now in the sauna, and I'll see how I am tomorrow. Um, off to London next week with Jack, ready for his USC fight, so I'll give myself the focus on before I start the radiotherapy the following week. As I say, every video, it could be worse. About six or seven movements to get to my new video. Right, yeah. Because if I say small movements, guys will still do this. Yeah. Look, this is where now the red corner will use this. So during the week, you've got any training, you'll come in here and do your pad work, um, shake outs, a little bit of grappling. You haven't got much now. You'll do pad session today, a little bit of technical work on the ground. And tomorrow, you get up, half hour run, and then we'll come here. Probably do 20 minutes on the pads just to get them sweat and set the sauna up there and uh, off we'll go then. Do you reckon you'd pass it to USADA? No. I don't know. Brilliant TV personality, brilliant commentator. That's for you. There you go, the head with how I go this dark skate, you know. I'm not having a, I'm not having a slander my little boy's name, mate. Not having it. Cheers, Pete. Good stuff, good stuff. Pete, oh, good. Pete, I didn't, I didn't bring up on camera, but I, I will, I will mention you because it is something you might want to have a chat about. Don't worry. It's been a tough camp, friend. Um, I haven't made this public, but back last year. Um, I was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer, so since January I've been undergoing chemotherapy. So it's been a tough camp for for Jack because I know like the external emotions of having to deal with this with me. I, I try to be in the gym as much as possible, um, but we've deliberately not brought it up before the fight because I don't want people thinking that we're looking for an excuse before we go into the fight. So well, up, tie him up top, beat him up up top, and clinch him around the body. Good energy. Just his energy level there for a Wednesday before the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Over the moment. We'll have one more round on me, we'll, we'll pass. Yeah. Um, more pressing news. Right, okay. That's two less than I was expecting. I'm quite good. You don't get on in whack again, sir. How many shits you had today? Not too bad, not three. <laughs> <laughs> but I've had breakfast, I've had a chicken curry and rice just now, I've had a couple of cups of coffee, so I'd say I was probably under, under 90 waking up. Yeah. Not what you hope. <laughs> so we'll, be, we'll be waking up under 90. I thought it was going to be more than that. I was 92 when I started. Uh, kept him back again two weeks ago. We, and then the flu came in, but no, I'm happy with that. 90 on the chemo, Heem. Lovely. Lovely, bud. <laughs> Heem, for that time, we're back in five minutes while me and this old <laughs> have one more roll. What's up? I'm going to pull my head in here again. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Not yeah. a 90 keg. Probably. Squeeze your line, boy. I went deep the juice. I'm going to squeeze the fucking line, boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's tired. Oh, catch me. Feel my belly in the way a little bit, mind. <laughs> yeah. And then it popped it for months. Oh. Right, Saturday 18th of March. I want the alarms going off on my timer. Uh, Saturday with the main man. Fight day for tank. We've been up here since Tuesday. Felt well, slept well, ate well. Have I ate well, Park? Brilliant, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> uh, just done 35 minutes on the cross trainer. Three, three minute rounds on the back. Got a good sweat on. He's back. He's back. Had a couple of rolls with the boy this week, first time on the mat in six months. Might go a little bit uh, pear shaped next week. Next Wednesday, start my radiotherapy. Hopefully, three weeks. I'll put it to bed. We'll meet with the doctors four weeks later and uh, positive news. My boy think it's going to be positive? Yes, definitely. Stressful day for us today. So I've done a shake down with Tank over in the Fighter Hotel. He's looking um, sharp, he's looking look, strong. Filled out. He's 162 pounds this morning after a 146 weight cut. A bit stressed, my nerves are shot a little bit, um, so my frame of mind's a little bit edgy today. But all in all, feeling good. And we're ready for the day, don't we? We're going to smash it today, and I'm going to smash it next week. 
as I say, at the end of every one, it could be worse. All right, Jack. Um, I know this looks like I've been having a round with you, but good luck with your fight, mate. Hope you do well. And to your dad, Richard, mate, my heart goes out to you. Good luck with your fight, and I hope you get through it. All the best, mate. Take care. Right, just got out of the Valindra Hospital. Big old place. Just had my first radiotherapy. Um, pr the procedure wasn't too bad. A little bit tingly now. Um, nothing sinister to be fair. Bit embarrassing, those who know me. Bit of a fuddy daddy with stuff, but uh, you know, you've got three ladies in the room and you've got to pull your pants down and rest with it. So you lose a bit of your dignity, as they say. Um, but in and out within an hour and a half they were running behind a little bit um, but no procedure was alright and uh, I'll check in in a couple of days as I say it could be worse I'm going to send you a picture to pull up behind us because we start the chemo and also I've got a fight box so he says to me um, can you email the UFC kit people he said um, he said because obviously at this time now no one only a select amount of people knew, didn't they? So he's like, C can you email the UFC people? Because I'm gonna, I think my, I'm going to go obviously bold, bold. Can you ask them? He said, I can't be one of them fat peaks. I look stupid. It's too big. He said, can you ask them for a bobble hat for me? He said, so that people ain't thinking, you know, what's going on with you. He yeah. said, I don't want to focus on that. From the fight, like. So I say, right, so I'll email them. So I emailed them. Look, my, my dad's going through, because uh, they only give the, the, the acts to uh, the fighters. So I was like, my dad's going through chemo is there any chance we could have a a beanie at yeah no problem at all um it was pretty good when we'll it. sort it if, if it's not in your bag on the day please remind us and um and we'll sort of see you had these, this grand duo and this nice ufc app <laughs> for winter. at this point now man right <laughs> let me just add this for, for people watching i walk around about 84 85 kilograms right walk around without dieting just normal walk around at this point, I'm 93 kilograms, right? <laughs> of my, steroids. My neck and shoulder, because I'm doing weights, I'm on 20 steroid tablets a day. I'm like, there's my chest out here, my face is swollen. And like me, he hasn't got the smallest head in the world as it is. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I, put it, I let him show the four hours, but I put this hat on, I say, I'm going to have to go out. Only way, <laughs> only way we can explain it, you know, like a speed or swim cap. <laughs> it looked like one it of, did it. Right, Thursday, 15th of. April, outside the Valindra, it is 8.30 a.m. Just completed um, my final radiotherapy session. Uh, been emotional, if I'm honest. It's been a long four months. But uh, fingers crossed, that is that. There's no more. Um, I've got an appointment on the phone with the doctor in a week. Another appointment face to face in four weeks with a view to getting a scan done now in six to eight so we can see exactly where we're at with everything. Um, as I say on all these videos, I'm feeling positive. I've given it best crack we can give it, done everything I've asked. Um, and again, just reiterating the people at the Valindra and Neville have been absolutely brilliant. Kieran, um, the way they've looked after everybody. You know, and as I say, it'll always be worse. I've just spoke to a, a fella in there, a little bit younger than me. Um, he's got cancer in, in in the head, and it's terminal. You know, there's there's no no fixing him. Just deter, you know, delaying the inevitable, as he put it. But you know, he was full of good spirits. Told me he just got married, been with his partner twenty odd years, and they wanted to get married. So, as I say, it can always be worse. So, you know. Carry on with my never give up attitude and uh, we will check back in after I've spoken to the doctors and then hopefully the final one will be after I've had the scan. First uh, early morning session rolling um, since I finished the treatment. Not good. <laughs> Lungs are terrible. Um, blowing out of my backside. Uh, Exhausted from the very first minute, but managed to get six or seven rounds in early Tuesday morning. So we've done here for 6 a.m. I'd like to say I feel better for it, but I don't. But I dare say long term I will. Um, 
groin was very sore, it's still very sore from the treatment of radiotherapy last week. But uh, we keep going, never give up, keep training. My scan in six weeks, and fingers crossed, we'll have a positive outcome. As I always say, it could be worse. Right, Friday the 11th of May, so it's been a few weeks since I've last checked in. Um, had a doctor's appointment yesterday. Uh, but a little bit more stressed after it. I was hopeful that it would be six weeks after I finished treatment, which was four weeks ago, that I would get a, a scan to see where we're at. But I've been told I've got to wait 12 weeks. And the reason for that is that the intensity of the radiotherapy I had when I had it four weeks running means that um, it can still be working in my body for up to 12 weeks after the last session and also the radiotherapy would um, make the lump swell so if I'd done a scan now um, it'd be difficult to determine if I'm in remission or not because the lump may be enlarged due to the radiotherapy um, so it wouldn't be a true reading so no one wanted to hear but it is what it is so I've got to wait uh, probably another six, seven weeks minimum before uh, I, I get that scan to see where we are. Um, desperate to get it done now, just, you know, it's been a tough four or five months uh, of treatment and I just want to know if I've got the all clear or not. So, feel okay. Um, back to training five nights a week. Body feels good. Physically, if you're all right, mentally, I'm struggling a bit just by, uh, just through this waiting. But it is what it is. Um, as we always say, could be worse. But uh, I'll check in in a couple of weeks now. Fingers crossed to get a scan date in a couple of weeks. And uh, I'll give us an update then. Right, six weeks since um, the radiotherapy treatment. I've got another six weeks before the uh, test results. I've got to go for a PET scan in six weeks' time. So I'll be 12 weeks since the last radiotherapy session. Um, Physically feel great, mentally I'm struggling, stressing about the results, which is natural of course. Um, but this week, first time since January, I've come down ill, had a bit of a cough and fluey symptoms. Um, stayed from the gym from the boys, but I've come in today while it's shut, just to try and get a sweat on, just a little plod on the bike. And a sauna, trying to sweat it out of me, as you can see. Got my sweatsuit on, so it's dripping out. But uh, yeah, we're halfway through that waiting period, which is which is tough, and another six weeks. Um, hopefully, we'll have some positive news. I will check in in three to four weeks' time, and I'll catch you soon. Right, twentieth of uh, June. Just having a chill out, having a bit of a hot tub. Some good news today. I've had my um, date through for the PET scan which is July the 6th, I'll take it for week 12 after the radiotherapy and then I've got my uh, doctor's appointment uh, two days later, which will be July the 8th, with fingers crossed and it'll be positive and it'll tell me I'm in remission um, or if it's not positive, it'll tell me what the next course of action will be but I've uh, been feeling really well last couple of weeks, you know, last 10 weeks in fact since I stopped um, uh, the radiotherapy Physically, I feel great. Struggling a bit mentally. It's been a long old, long old wait. Uh, I've been having a little bit of counselling to, to help my stress levels and um, anger management. So, you know, trying everything and anything just to keep me in the right, the right space. Um, but I'm not going to check back in now until uh, after the review, which will be in two weeks, and hopefully then that'll put a close to this blog and uh, it'll be a, a, an end with a, a positive finish. So, I always say, never give up, keep yourself going, and it could always be worse. See you in two weeks. Right, morning everyone. July the 2nd, Sunday July the 2nd, big few days coming up. I've got um, my final PET scan tomorrow. Uh, so I've got to go to hospital for four hours. Um, it's like a 3D imaging radioactive system, uh, setup, so got to uh, avoid uh, being on pregnant women and kids straight after it. But get out of the way, I've got a rest day Tuesday, and then I have my consultation Wednesday, 
we we'll get the results as to whether I'm in remission or whether I have to go through another circle of, uh, of treatment. So I'm going to check back in Wednesday. Fingers crossed it's positive news and that will be the end of this vlog. As I always say, it could be worse. Monday, July the 3rd, I'm in the hospital, locked behind the big steel door. Uh, been injected with radiotherapy, been here about an hour now, should be taken down for the final scan. And uh, fingers crossed, but on Wednesday we'll have some, uh, some good news. There's certain things you can't control, and you can spend all day worrying about that, right? Um, and I'm a great believer in concerning yourself about things that you can't control. What, I, what can I control in this situation? I can control my relationships with people. I can control my attitude in the gym. I can control the levels of humour around it. I can control what I eat. I can control my exercise output. Um, I'm in control of certain things. What I can't control is the outcome. So I try, you know, and as much as I've said to you boys, it, it is stressing me. I'll internally hold on to that. And I don't, I, do, I don't think I project that onto the team, onto my friends, family or anything. So it's a case of just deal with what you can control, but make sure you give yourself your best shot. July the 5th. This will be the last video of the blog. Uh, I had the consultation this morning and all good. Uh, in remission, no further treatment. I will be uh, checked up on every uh, three months. Uh, for a year, then every four months after that, but massive, massive weight off my shoulders, relief for the family more, more than me, and just want to say thanks to everybody, friends, family, teammates, everyone who's been there and supported me over the last uh, 12 months, which has been the toughest 12 months I've had um, ever, but as we say, we never give up, and it could be worse, thank you everybody, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this blog. Enjoy might be a bit of a stretch of a term, mind. Keep yourself going, and it can always be worse. But it is what it is. Um, we'll have a positive outcome. As I always say, it could be worse. As I say, it can always be worse. As I say, it could be worse. As I say at the end of every one, it could be worse. As I say every video, it could be worse. I never give up. That's all we can do. One shot. One opportunity.